Hello everyone. Welcome to Sapa Diaries. Hope you and your loved ones are healthy and safe. This video is a late post, almost a year old. Post lockdown sessions in 2020, I was transferred to Mumbai city and we decided to visit Jog Falls before we moved to Mumbai. It was a 3 day trip. The video duration is little longer to cover the complete trip. You can follow the chapters on the YouTube video progress seek bar below. The day one starts with early morning drive towards Jog Falls from Bangalore around 5:30 a.m. Jog Falls is around 400 kilometers from Bangalore. Our bookings were done with Sharavati Adventure Camp of JLR Properties. We took Tumkur, Chitradurga, Shivmoga, Sagar and Jog Falls route which goes via AH47 and NH69. During the monsoon the route looks very beautiful and lush green.
after eight hours. Sharavati camp is a very beautiful camp surrounded by natural flora and fauna. It is stuck on slopes of a hillock skirting the Talaklele reservoir. Though every season brings a new reason to visit these mountains and western Ghats and Sharavati, the camp is an ideal location to experience the majestic <laughs> magic of monsoon. You can indulge in aquatic adventures like coracle rides, kayaking, joy fishing, speed boating, jet skiing and mountain trekking etc. You can chase butterflies as they flutter from bud to blossom and leaf to leaf. Drifting along the refreshing blue waters of the reservoir. Sipping a hot cup of coffee by the water's edge, you can watch sun paint sky with shades of soft orange and transform it into dazzling strains of crimson. You can wake up to misty mornings and head out for a drive into densely wooded forest of the Sharavati Valley Wildlife Sanctuary. The sanctuary encompasses a part of the Sharavati River Basin and has evergreen and moist deciduous forests. At the Sharavati Adventure Camp, you are cradled in nature's lap and left to enjoy the ethereal beauty of Sahyadris. The resort and the surrounding island attracts a wide variety of winged visitors. Common birds sighted are kingfisher, Indian peafowl, hoops, hornbills, pond herons, grey-headed bulbuls and cormorants. Several varieties of butterflies can also be found in the vicinity of the forest. Mammals like black-nailed hare, common langurs and Malabar giant squirrels can also be found there. एक जैकेट खुल गया The resort has around 20 cottages and each cottage is built facing the reservoir. The cottages have French windows to enjoy the beauty while you are resting in the cottage after a tiring journey.
After taking some rest, we went for a motorboat ride and saw some beautiful winged visitors on island. It was a treat to eyes, especially after such hectic series of lockdowns. You can see pond herons, great white egret, black egret, hornbills. Truly, the reservoir is not only freshwater reservoir but natural conservation reservoir for many such species of birds. Okay, wait. You are loose, over here.
After motorboat ride, I decided to take my fear out and ask the guide to teach me kayak. It was my first kayak ride and Kiran, my instructor, taught me how to kayak quickly. Kayak on the reservoir was a brilliant spot to see the view of camp on Sayadri mountain range and reservoir. It was a great experience. First time was a little tiring, however, would definitely do kayak whenever I can.
it's time for some evening snacks and look at Kiran giving a jet ski boat ride to tourists. So now I know what I have to do tomorrow on day 2. It's bird watching, joke falls visit, jet ski ride, couple kayaking and much more. Stay tuned for the day 2 video. Day 2. A beautiful morning with such a nice view from the cottage. It rained last night and I had set my GoPro for the night laps. Our schedule for the day starts with a delicious breakfast at the camp followed by some bird watching. on guava trees. It was a breakfast time for them as well.
Joke Falls is around 6 km from the camp and the resort had organized a jeep drive to the falls. Since it was post covid lockdowns there was no rush at all at the falls and it seemed that we were there for a private vacation with no disturbance from anyone. Sagar Taluk of Shimoga district Karnataka India It is the second highest plunge waterfall in India Jog Falls is created by Sharavati river dropping 250 meter around 830 feet making it the third highest waterfall in India after Nokalikai Falls with a drop of 35 meters around 1099 feet in Meghalaya and Dud Sagar waterfalls with a drop of 310 meters around 1020 feet in goa sharavati a river which rises at ambu tirtha next to nonabur is in tirtha halli taluk the sharavati flowing over a very rocky bed about 250 yards wide it reaches here with a tremendous chasm of around 290 meter depth and the water comes down in four distinct falls raja falls okay then the roller falls which precipitates into a vast cup and then rushes violently to, towards the raja falls the third fall is rocket falls which shoot okay. downwards in a series of jets while the fourth the rani falls which moves quietly over the mountain side in a sheet of foam the tourist department has built steps from the view point to the bottom of the hill where the waterfall can be seen at the opposite side uh, the steps is around 1400 steps however it was closed due to pandemic restrictions
you can see Mahatma Gandhi Hydroelectric Power Project Plant also here. The power plant is operational since 1948 and Sleep since then it is a major power project in the country. It has a capacity of around 120 megawatts. It is it used to be the largest when it was commissioned in the country. Cross. Right. After the visit to the Joke Falls, we went back to the adventure camp and tried couple kayaking. It was great fun and adventure. FII, we both don't know how to swim and still we went into kayaking Sharavati River, Talaklele Reservoir, which is roughly 300 feet deep. Trust your trainer and learn basics with sticks and you should be able to do it. The next activity was the jet ski along with Kiran, my trainer. We went for a jet ski on the lake and it was fun and I enjoyed the thrill every single second. There's another video for complete jet ski, you can also find the link above in the card, also in the description. Moving further, we played table tennis and since Reno is a national level player in the table tennis, it was so obvious that I was looking like a lamb there. 
Though surprisingly, I won the match. Just joking. With this, our day two comes to an end. We went to the cafeteria and had dinner and enjoyed the monsoon rains. Look out for day three. Day three. Our guide Anil had promised us a wonderful surprise next day morning. And after breakfast, he told us to be ready with raincoat and umbrella. He showed up around morning 7:30 a.m. and he told he would be taking us to a breathtaking scenic view point. He was carrying two lattes and a packet of common salt. I could guess that he was taking us for a trekking to the Sayadri mountain range. And exactly that his plan was. We trekked for almost two and a half kilometer to a beautiful viewpoint, from where we can see the Talakne Reservoir completely. And the reason of packet of salt was leeches. Since it was a deciduous forest, the leeches are present everywhere in this wild forest in Mongolia. It was a moderate difficulty trek, but worth the effort. In between, I faced loads and loads of blood sucking leeches, and my bad, I was wearing a shorts. और ऊपर है क्या If you have any queries do ask me in comments and I shall be happy to guide you with knowing more about the campus
If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe and share with your friends and families.